Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Ladies and gentlemen, this story came out on the Daily Beast, April 28th, 2021. Feds plan to charge Chauvin, other three former officers with civil rights crimes over Floyd's death. Good, because Chauvin still got to contend with his tax evasion charges. So the more you pile on him, the better as far as I'm concerned. The Department of Justice planned to arrest former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin at the courthouse if he had not been found guilty of murdering George Floyd last week. He was, however, and he is now in jail awaiting sentencing. Now the DOJ is continuing to build its case against a white former officer and plans to charge him and the three other officers involved in Floyd's death, J. Alexander King, Thomas Lane, Tutal, and with federal civil rights violation, the Minneapolis Star Tribune report. So the DOJ attorneys are reportedly planning to ask a grand jury to return an indictment against Chauvin for kneeling on Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes in May of 2020 for violently arresting a 14-year-old boy in 2017. They really need to get all of his cases, you know, because there were plenty more that came forward to say he choked them too. So no, don't just stop at the 14-year-old boy and what happened to George Floyd. You need to go the whole nine yards. And I wonder who the officers were with him when he choked out the other people, because apparently Derek Chauvin had no problem doing this in front of un um, other officers. And I have not heard of one that stopped him. You know, and that is a disgrace. So when you come and tell us about good police officers, it's just hard to believe you when we see things like this. So this man was choking on people for 19 years. Not one officer reported it. Not one officer that was with him stopped him, nothing. But we are supposed to believe there are good ones, right? I guess the good ones failed to show themselves for 19 years because that's exactly what it looks like. So if Derek Chauvin was found guilty, it shouldn't be no hope for these three. All of them need to be found guilty. You got three men that had the ability to stop a murder and they chose not to do it. And as far as the Asian cop is concerned, look at what he did when he saw a black man losing his life on the ground what did he do? He went to be menacing to the crowd. You know, but it's amazing how nothing ever gets said about this in the media. But you let an Asian get attacked right now. The first thing you'll do is talk about some black man did it and yada, 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 yada. But nothing about the roles they played in against black people over the years. So... What does it all mean? Who knows? You know, who knows? 
as far as Chauvin, you know, there's always that chance that he will get the Amber Geiger sentence. You know, a little lightweight sentence that don't match the crime. I mean, it, it's good that they found him guilty on all counts. I hope these other three are found guilty as well. But we know how they roll in this country. They hate to do anything to a cop or a former cop. They don't like to do it. They always like to go as light as possible. They'll give them sentences that the public can't get if you did the same exact crime. They always go easy on the cops and at the same time insulting everybody's intelligence by telling you they're fair. You, you haven't been fair in 500 years. I wouldn't hold my breath on waiting for you to be fair. But, you know, this is a shame that it has come to this. But ladies and gentlemen, one thing I can honestly say, 2020 has been a big year for revealing many of these things these cops have been doing all along and how they've been handling the public all along, especially the black public. I'm not really talking about anybody else because we know they go out of their way to make sure we get treated differently. So I have no compassion. I look at these th these four men, they can burn in hell as far as I'm concerned. But this is what America turns out as police officers, ladies and gentlemen. This and far worse. There are many out here that have choked black people in the community and they have never ever been punished. I mean, and look at how long they protected Chauvin. When complaints would come in against him, they would throw the complaints away and ignore everything. But see, now they're paying attention to past cases because the spotlight is on them in Minnesota now. Okay, now that the spotlight is on them, oh, well, look what he did then. You knew he did all that mess then. You knew what he did in 2014, 15, 17, you knew what he was doing. So stop trying to act all brand new like we're all naive about what's going on. You knew what his track record was and you did nothing to stop him. He was even getting caught up in stuff when Amy Klobuchar was the DA. Derek Chauvin, was his name was coming up and he was coming up as a crooked cop even back then. And she did not prosecute a single cop during the time she was the DA. And that's how many of them do it in this country. It's not just the cops. They're all in cahoots with each other. So now you know they, there are some additional charges on them. Uh, the others, their trials are not coming up until summer. And Derek Chauvin, I believe he will be coming up sometime either in May or June for his sentencing. But we shall see. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.